What's up guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel where today I will be talking about and kind of giving you guys a tour of my closet. Last time if you watched the video, if you go back to like two weeks ago, I did like a shoe tour. If you guys watched the video, you guys know how much of a tackle that was. I always had like a sense of style and I always like had like my thing that I like to go to. But for the most part, like I didn't have the money to acquire some of the things um, that like I've always wanted. I mean, you guys have blessed me in so many ways and now like I start to take it very serious and I'm in a position where I'm able to have a lot of these things and it's amazing because now it's my job. Came in with the what's that? Left out with the who she? Laying game like 2D, I been kicking like Bruce Lee. Okay. But yeah, starting with right here, we have the heavy coats, like the heavy jackets. Right here, this is from the first ever trip that I went to Paris and this was part of uh, this is Ami Paris. They were like, we're gonna give this to you and go take pictures in Paris and have fun and just like make it super organic. And that's what I did. And then right next to it, honestly, this black puffer, I'm sure you guys can recognize it. It was, uh, I wore it in London. It's like one of my favorite jackets. I love this jacket so much. I, you can literally dress it up or dress it down. This is Coach actually. And shout out Coach, I love you guys. It sucks because when I was organizing my closet, I kind of had to like make some, make some decisions. For some reason, I'm like emotionally attached to like all my clothes. Like it's literally a t-shirt that I like, I wore this the second day that I came to LA and I'll be like oh this has a special place in my heart and it's like hard for me to get rid of when I get rid of them where do they go for one we have we have maids that come here every week and sometimes I'll give them clothes for their family like they have sons around like my age kind of like hand-me-down kind of things and so sometimes we'll give clothes to them sometimes give clothes to like one of my friends that goes to UCLA he'll come and just be like yo I'm going through my closet right now he'll be over in like five minutes just because he loves to like shop in my closet but yeah like the lighter jackets you got some like Letterman jackets in here. You got some just like jean jackets. I just got this one actually. There's no cool story behind it. I've worn it once to dinner. You like zoom in it, it's like fur. Well, this one, Louis Vuitton, Letterman jacket right here. I wore this in the Vogue photo shoot that I did for Louis Vuitton, like my first ever fashion photo shoot. <laughs> Moving on, okay, the pants like, the pants. I wore these with a with a striped Ami shirt that I still have somewhere in here. It'll probably come up later in the video, but I wore these in Paris. All of my stories are relating back to my first time in Paris just because that trip was just so like eye-opening for me. Like it made me realize how much I want to get into fashion because not only did I go for a show, but I went and just like experienced like how much I love traveling, how much like it was my first time ever in Europe. And so that was a very cool moment for me. This is an Ami t-shirt, 426 of 450. There's only 450 of these in the world and it's kind of cool. I just did a recent like coach campaign, which was really cool. I did like my first ever like in-store modeling gig for a fashion brand and it was coach. And I got this shirt while I was there. It's just a great shirt. Love dogs, you know? It's a Balenciaga t-shirt, which is kind of funny because you wouldn't guess that this is Balenciaga. They actually have like a hotline that you can call. These are just workout t-shirts, literally shirts that I work out in. Coming up here, this is, there's probably a lot of cool stories up here, but these are all like my jerseys, my sports based jerseys. And this is a Roma jersey. This is a Manchester United, love Manchester United. AC Milan training top. We got a PSG training top, USA training top. PSG training top. Philly with Beck on the back. Shout out Michael Rubin. Shout out Kylie Rubin and Brooke. A few jerseys that mean a lot to me. This one, for example, Arizona D-backs. I wore this in the MLB celeb game that I played in, which was really cool. I don't know why I don't have this framed. You could tell it hasn't been washed and I will never wash this jersey because this is the jersey that I met all of PSG their whole team. And that was something I will never, ever forget. And that was like a surreal moment. We met like Messi, Neymar, Keylor Navas, literally their whole team. I, I the list goes on. Mbappe, like all those guys. This is my trenches and like longer coats that you got going on here. You know what's funny, this coat, I don't want to pull it out because they're all so jammed in there, but it's like a it's like a white trench coat, grayish trench coat. It kind of started it all for me in a sense. It's from Zara. It's just like fast fashion, you know, just like I thought I was eating that night and I thought I was just like totally killing the game. And it was literally just to go to dinner with Dixie, actually. I posted a TikTok, but I was wearing this, some black like skinny pants, Air Force Ones, like white Air Force Ones and a beanie. When I posted that one, that's kind of like when brands started to reach out and be like, hey, like we see Noah's starting to take fashion more serious. Like we should do this with, it. like that's that's kind of 
crazy that this is kind of what started it for me. And then you got like my scarves and bandanas. I need to figure out how to make this more organized because it, it's, it's a pretty deep, <laughs> It's pretty deep back there and it kind of goes back pretty far. And then these are like bucket hats and beanies. Need to organize that better as well. And then these are like snapbacks. These are like my black belts. Plus like this really cool belt right here. This is a, a Saint Laurent chain belt. I just got this. I probably use this belt the most crazy cause I have like this like Dolce belt. I have a Prada belt and then I have this like, it's an Ami belt. And then I don't know what this one is actually, but pretty sure I got this one from Ross uh, when I was in Arizona. I literally think I got this one from Ross. Yeah, Perry Ellis. I'm definitely, I definitely got this from Ross. It's like my favorite belt. I've had it for like three years. Now we're definitely onto the other side of my closet that is definitely more dressy. This is definitely considered my more fancier side of the closet. Starting from here, these are crewnecks and these are also crewnecks. These ones are more like knitted and like almost heavier, but not heavy enough to be over there where they're folded. I wore this in my shoe tour video. Go watch that if you haven't. Just did a recent deal with Fendi, which was really cool. This is like the first time I ever worked with Fendi and they sent me this. Wore this, first time in Paris. Ami, duh. Polo bear, we got that. We have another polo bear <laughs> lining up for the for the putt. Another polo bear. <laughs> Love the polo bear, they're just adorable, they're cute. Um, this is just like a cloud sweater, I haven't worn it yet, it's just fun. Ami again, first Paris trip. Literally, this was my first day. Like this is the first outfit that I wore in Paris, first trip. We'll go down, we'll come here to my long sleeve button ups. This was definitely a part of my closet that I was lacking quite a lot is like my long sleeve button ups. And like it's summertime, so like I wanted to get some like flowier one. Like this just screams summer. This like Saint Laurent, it's like very nice and flowy. The linen right before it, like linen's very nice in the summer. This is a bit crazy. <laughs> this is actually a set, there's actually, pe but I've worn these in TikToks. This speech is my recital. I think it's very vital to rock around left, right on time and to, to, to love this i've worn this quite a few times and it's like sheer and it's amazing like i love this this one's kind of crazy kind of saving this one for like an event or something or a carpet this one's fun kind of a recent purchase really cool you know could wear it with nothing under kind of go a bit crazy and risque a little leather shirt which is cool love this one actually just got that one and then these are my short sleeve button-ups definitely coming up, approaching is summertime, and I'll probably be opening this part a lot more. This one's cool, I actually liked it. This one just got, I just thrifted this one, and it's like a towel material, and it fits really nice. I just wore this one recently to a Fanatics event, which is really cool. Shout out Michael Rubin again. And yeah, a lot of this stuff is thrifted, gifted. Excited to wear this one. This one's Celine. Just bought this one, actually, uh, off Grailed. It's like really cool material. This one's kind of fun. We'll definitely be wearing this. Scream summer. Been really working on the vest. 2022 summer Noah. When people think that, I want people, like I honestly want to start like making vests kind of like my thing, like wearing vests with nothing under. But yeah, I've got a pretty cool collection of vests to be honest. Some really cool ones, some dressier ones like this. This one's uh, like vintage Versace. And then you got like more flowy ones for the summer. Just wore this one the other day, actually love this one. And then you got the cardigans, wore this one in Monte Carlo as well. Wore this one recently in Paris. This one's kind of fun. I haven't worn this one yet, but I want to do something with it. I don't know. This one's going to be fun to style because it's GCDS. This one was gifted. It's just like a lot, you know, but I think it could be cool. I think I could do something with it. And then you go over here, which is my blazers and like coats and suit jackets. Like all of those are here. So we'll go through these because there's not a ton. This one, I haven't worn this one yet. It's like a vintage like green blazer top, which is kind of cool. This one is like, like a sport coat. From polo this is like a cool fun green oversized ami blazer it's really nice i don't know when i'm gonna wear that but i'll figure something out maybe like some kind of event and then this is actually xenia it's got this cool back where you can like tie it and stuff and then the one behind it is actually very similar but like little difference in the details this one is the one it's like just buttons rather opposed to like the tie this one i wore to iheart radio jingle ball in new york to support dixie but i also did some like celeb hosting appearance thing which is really fun shout out iHeartRadio. this is cool this is like a prada coat type thing double breasted really cool i just recently wore this with an outfit that i posted in paris actually with like i wore it with like a brown trench over it which is actually a really fun look this thing's really cool this is like a harness it's a louis vuitton like holster type thing and i've worn this a couple times actually you can wear it over like a button-up with no coat or you can add a coat to kind of give it like a different look 
This was a custom suit that was made for me, which is freaking sick. I really love this jacket, but it's really cool. It says my name, Noah Beck. And then it also has up here in 2001. That's when I was born. And then finishing off with a coach blazer that I actually wore to the coach show in New York that I was just at. It's Curtis's birthday coming up soon. And funny story, he kind of got me into this thing, this material, this design called sequin. And it's like, you guys know those like pillows or like some kind of fabric that you could brush over? It's called sequin. He kind of got me into it. He convinced me and now I'm in love with sequin as well. And he was dying for this like Saint Laurent like trench coat. Funny story is that his birthday is coming up. So I got it like last week. And so it was just sitting in my closet for like a good two days. I wasn't very patient. It was like two days until I was like, okay, I'm just gonna give it to him because at the end of the day, like I looked at it and I actually tried it on and I was like, oh my God, like I love this and like I wanna keep it. But I was like, eh. But that being said, I was like, okay, I tried yours on and like now I'm obsessed with sequin. So I'm gonna get something for myself and it fits perfectly and I can't wait to wear her somewhere. But this is what it looks like. And it's Dolce & Gabbana. If you would've shown me this like a year or two years ago, I would've been like, ew. But like now that I'm into fashion, like appreciate it more, it's like, this is so nice. Just wanna say thank you again for supporting and following me through this journey. Definitely grateful for all this, appreciate everything that I have. And yeah, this was a requested video and I wanted to kind of bring you guys through my closet. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment your favorite season, you know, like winter, summer, spring. Comment other things, comment some constructive criticism you'd like for my channel. Like I really want to continue to kind of improve for you guys and like whatever you guys want to see, I'm going to try to get to. And yeah, comment things you guys want to see because at the end of the day, I'm making these videos for you guys. Make sure you subscribe, turn those post notifications on and that's about it. Hope you guys have a great day and I love you all.